This is Super Yacht News with the Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So in the last few months, at the beginning of a video, I've been showing various yachts from around the world, usually because of some relation to the news stories that we're talking about. I decided to develop this into a feature and we'll just call it Yacht Spot uh, for, for want of a better name. Um, and we're just going to show some photos or videos sent in by you, the viewer, to show different yachts around the world. They do not have to be in the news for any reason. They're just uh, a yacht that you see that you think is awesome. Send me some either photographs or video footage, in, preferably in landscape, and you can send them in to us. So we'll, we'll crack off today with uh, Moti Yacht AV. Now this vessel, you'll remember, was being in the news recently on the channel. This was originally called Palladium, it's now called AV. The ownership has changed and it's now owned by Dennis Washington, uh, not to be confused with Denzel Washington. And he has um, he's purchased this yacht. He also owns another 100 meter yacht called Atessa 4. Anyway, the yacht is in uh, Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Now. A few weeks ago, we were talking about the yacht and it was in, it was at Pier 66 in Fort Lauderdale. So it looks like since then they have traveled down to the Panama Canal, gone through the canal and come out the other side and gone to Puerto Vallarta. Now the next boat I want to show you, this is some video footage. Now we had this from a while ago, but because I'm just announcing this feature now, obviously we, we don't have a lot of new stuff uh, sent in by anybody in particular. So we'll, we'll do this one. It's a sailing yacht Black Pearl. This was in Tiva in Montenegro last year. Now the yacht was owned by a Russian named Oleg Ber Berlikov, but he died in 2021 from uh, COVID, according to the official Instagram page of that boat. So if you've got any footage or any photos that you want us to show in this section of the video, please be sure to send them in. If you've got video, definitely the best way is to use wetransfer.com uh, and send it to news at esisman.co.uk. Uh, if it's just one photograph, you can just email it to, to that email address. I'll put the information on the screen. Uh, we get full resolution videos if you send them through wetransfer. If you send it through WhatsApp, etc., they get reduced down to very small and we can't use them effectively. Also, let us know if you want to credit or not. All right, so we'll move on to the next story, and this is about Motiat Axioma. Now, if you saw the breaking news story from yesterday, you already know most of what I'm going to say. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up here and you can go check it out. Now, the, the yacht was sold in Gibraltar after being uh, seized after an order by JP Morgan Bank. The, the boat was sold and the new owner has taken possession. Now the boat's been sat there since, I think the boat was sold in August or September. It's in the previous video, the details. It's been sat there for at least four months, uh, not moving. And now finally under tow, it's, it's left and it's headed to Turkey. We, we, we were told by sources close to the vessel that the new owner was Turkish. Uh, we don't know if that's the case, um, but the, the vessel is definitely headed to Turkey. Well, it is right now, according to AIS. Now the vessel is under tow. Anyway, go back and see that video if you want to know more details on that story. Now the reason why we brought it up again is because the vessel is on its way. It's off the coast of Almeria in Spain, as you can see on screen. Now earlier on today, the AIS data showed the yacht to be ahead of the tug, which we thought was, was weird. We thought maybe the boat is now under its own steam and the yacht is, and the tug is following just as in case. But then later on we checked and the tug was again in front of the yacht. So we think it might have just been a glitch on the on the AIS data. Um, and it's been going back and forth for the last few hours. So I think the tug is still um, towing the vessel. I think it's just AIS glitch. All right, so we'll move on to the main story today. And this is about motor yacht fee. Now, if you've been watching the, the channel since last year, you will know that Motiok Fee was arrested in London. It was the first, and as far as I can remember, only yacht to be arrested by the UK government. However, the owner, uh, Russian billionaire Sergei Nomenko, he was not sanctioned at the time uh, by the UK government or by anyone else in the world to come to that. The boat was in uh, London to collect an award from a, a super yacht award ceremony when it was um, refused permission to leave and it, it's been there ever since. 
Now, a year, almost a year has passed, and the owner is still not on any sanctions list around the world, including the UK. The good news is, from the boat's point of view, is that <clears throat> is that the government is now talking to the uh, to the owners of the vessel, according to sources close to the vessel, and they are trying to move the vessel to a more suitable location. And this is for a few reasons. Now, the yacht was is in Canary Wharf, which is not really designed for long-term um, storage of any vessel. Um, and the vessel has got some issues with it, because probably because it's been sat there for so long, it hasn't had any maintenance period in that time, and they can't get equipment through to the boat in its current location. There's no road access uh, to, to the location of the boat, um, so it's very limited. Now, they've got some electrical issues as well, which is preventing some of the equipment from working properly, and they're worried about a fire hazard. Uh, it, the vessel is close to an apartment building, which is very close by, a few meters away, and you know the boat has like 60, 70,000 uh, thousand liters of fuel on board, so they're a bit concerned that if there was a fire, that, that the fire service can't get close to the vessel, and their fire equipment on board might not be able to deal with that fire. So they're looking to move the vessel somewhere more suitable. Also, the yacht sustained some damage while it's been there. Now there was a non-motorized pontoon that was moored further up, up, up the river there. And um, one night some people let that loose and it drifted down and it's damaged the port side of the vessel. And I mean, that boat is brand new. So, it, the, the, so they've sustained some damage, which they need to obviously repair before corrosion sets in on the hull. So that is good new, the good news for the boat um, that and, and also good news that the government is finally talking to the boat because for a long time, though there was just radio silence uh, when uh, they were trying to be contacted, which included us, whenever we tried to contact the government about this story, we never got a reply or, or a statement or anything from back from them. So I'm glad to hear that they're now uh, looking at, um, you know, assisting the boat because the boat is in, in some trouble there. Uh, so that's a good thing, isn't it? Even if it's just for the safety of the people who live in that area, that's a good thing for uh, for those people. So that is the news. Um, what I'll do before I go is I'll just remind you to check out our Patreon page. Uh, remember to go to patreon.com slash esisman. We've got uh, a lot, of, we've had a lot of new patrons in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you'll receive exclusive videos not published on YouTube. You will get early access to features advert free and you'll get to suggest topics for future videos and ask questions for upcoming Q&As. If you've got any information about any of the stories we mentioned here or any other stories, or if you've got any photos or videos for that new section, be sure to get in touch. You know how to do it. You can get us through the About page or the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and you can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, thanks very much, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.